as you know, ActiveView is a web-based platform uh, to monitor, manage, and uh, prepare reports of EBS uh, devices. Uh, you see, we share with you our uh, screen, uh, the ActiveView platform. So uh, the address is ActiveView.com.pl. You can. I will log in with my uh, account. Uh, as uh, as you know, ActiveView is very intuitive, very simple to use. It's already available in eleven languages. To navigate with within the ActiveView, you have just five menus on the top of the screen, which are alarms, events, reports, management, and administration. Today we will focus on the management uh, menu, but just for to make the story short, just a short introduction about the active view uh, overall, uh, all the menus. So in the first, uh, you can imagine the situation, a uh, supervisor is in front of his screen and here we'll receive all the events, important alarms, uh, um, like uh, man downs, panic buttons and patrol failed. Um, as you can see, uh, okay, uh, just for, for your information, I will make a, a short step. If you, are, if you prefer to change a language, you can go to settings and the uh, languages are available uh, here. So we will stay for, for English. Um, we invite you to, to contact us if you want to translate uh, our software in your local language. It's also available. Uh, we can discuss about that kind of development. All those translations were made by our customers. So uh, you can participate in the development of ActiveView. So let's stay in English and back um, to the alarms. So here uh, you will receive all the important alarms. Uh, on events, you've got absolutely all events with uh, detection time, occurrence time, the type of the events, commands, etc. are here. You can filter them, uh, include or exclude locations, etc. In the next menu, you can create uh, reports on demand, so to say. Whenever you need a report from a given place, from a, for a given uh, customer or for a given device, you can create uh, reports here uh, or reports from patrols. Uh, but also you can uh, generate periodic reports, so schedule them to receive, for example, every Friday or once a month uh, a summary of all your uh, uh, alarms, uh, uh, periodic reports. Uh, administration, here you can manage uh, users, uh, import export data, email configuration, text on message, a text message on alarms, emails, etc. But uh, as I said, today we would like to show you how to really take advantage of ActiveView features, uh, how to be sure that a security officer are in the right place at the right, right time during uh, their patrol. Uh, we'll show you how to program patrol um, and how to be able to react immediately uh, to patrol fate alarms. How to create a virtual tag area and automatically check your employee GPS position. I will show you also how easy it is to create companies, sites, roads, tags, and especially creates or planning uh, simple and advanced uh, patrols. So um, let's start. Um, just to remind you, you can at any time you can write your your questions, and Arthur is here to answer your questions. Uh, um, and. Uh, I just want to make a short point with you that more or less at the middle of the uh, webinar we will make a really, really short break uh, for a little competition. I will ask you two very simple and two short questions about EBS or EBS devices 
and the person who will answer first will get a, a prize um, delivered to to his office. Okay, so let's get back to Active View. Uh, so in the management menu, uh, we can start with a creation of a company. You can imagine that it might be uh, your your customer, for example. Uh, so you can uh, create a company wherever, for example, company security uh, expert, for example, company. And in the management companies, we've got already um, a company. You can put the address of the company, you can add sites, etc., uh, employees, devices, contacts, um, and also some additional details important to your, uh, to your um, company. So, we prepared for you uh, an example. Today we'll work together on a company called Mark and Spark. <laughs> uh, so we have a company name, Mark and Spark, which is based in Warsaw. And the, that company has one site. It's a Mark and Spark office at the following address. To that company, we have two devices. Both are active trucks the serial numbers and we can see that one device is working, it's connected, you see that it's online, that the signal strength is good and the battery level is high. The other one is disconnected. So, um, now we can go to the management. We saw the company Mark and Spark, the sites, uh, which is uh, office, and now we are approaching to the main topic of our meeting, which is roads, patrol roads. Uh, we go to the roads, and here you've got a list of already created roads, which are uh, attached to the company and even to a site, but also you can create your own uh, road. Uh, let's start uh, with a simple patrol road. Uh, in Active View, you, you, use, you are able to choose between a simple and advanced um, patrol road. Let's go with a simple one. So, you can click on Create and you will find that menu. You can choose your name of the, of the patrol, type, simple, you choose on the list the, your company, a site on which the patrol must be done, and checkpoints. Here we already prepared some checkpoints. If you want to um, delete one of them, just press on the X button. And also you can add checkpoints by clicking Add Checkpoints and you've got the list of, of uh, all checkpoints available. Uh, you can only select show recently added uh, on the top. Uh, so I can, uh, I can, for example, uh, choose another one, select, and he is, get, is going here. As you can see, um, the checkpoints names are not in, in the order. Uh, why? Uh, the answer is very simple. Uh, as simple roads, um, simple patrols, the only um, issue for the patrol, for the guard, is to respect two things, the time and numbers, number of uh, the checkpoints, which means that in the given time, for instance, in our example, 60 minutes, we can do, for example, 30 minutes, the guard has to read all those tags but doesn't matter the, or, the order. He can go from the first to the last, or from the last to, to the first, or just uh, uh, choose your, the, uh, the checkpoints, as long as he respects the 
30 minutes delay and all the tags are uh, checked, everything is okay and patrol will be done correctly. What is important, you can schedule the, the patrol for your guards. Here in every, uh, in the schedule menu, you can choose if the patrol must be done every X days or days of the week. So let's try the first. For example, we'll start our patrols at 8 a.m. and finish at 6 p.m. and every 60 minutes generate which means then that at 7, at 8, at 9, etc., a guard must start a patrol and he has 30 minutes to do all the 10 checkpoints. You can also uh, choose hours after midnight. Uh, for example, till 6 a.m. every 45 minutes and you've got uh, additional uh, hours. What is important that whenever you've got, uh, for example, a break during a day, for example, for lunchtime, you can just manually erase a given hour. Uh, you can choose periodicity, so every one day or every two days, etc. And here you can choose the start date. So, for example, uh, today you can create some patrols that will start on the 1st of January. As I told you, you can here also choose exactly days of the week. For example, from Monday with uh, shift button to Friday, I can select only working, working days. So, from 8 a.m to 6 p.m. every 60 minutes, generate, as you can see automatically we will get all the um, schedule, all the patrols done very quickly, very easy and I can choose for Saturday and Sunday uh, for example to start at 10 a.m. and finish 4 as simple as that. Uh, okay, so we saw uh, how to uh, create a simple road with a given number of checkpoints. Um, I can show you also how to add the checkpoints if you want. So uh, I can go, um, I can go to tags. So still management tags and I can beep attack, for example, a beep attack, sorry, not to tags, to events, sorry for that. So I just read a checkpoint, you, you see the date and the hour, uh, and I see the device number uh, w with which it was beeped. Uh, so, when I have a checkpoint read, sorry for the alarms, it's from another device, which is uh, an FPX. Um, so, every time, everything is happening in real time, so we need to be ready for those kind of things. So, come back to our um, tag. I just read a, a tag. Double, uh, right click of the mouse, show tag, and here I can rename the tag. For example, uh, test tag 1. And as you can see, it's a checkpoint tag which is attached automatically to a company Mark and & Spark and the site Marks & Spark office. Why it's done automatically? Because I scan it with the device number 200111 which is already attached to, uh, to our company. So every tag I scan with that device goes automatically uh, to that company. But it's 
still not in a given patrol. Now I will show you how to uh, add that, pat that uh, tag to our patrol road. So I come back to the management roads. Simple. We have still our 10 checkpoints and we would like add another one which is just uh, we just created and now I will just look for it it's here test tag number one I click on it select and I got it here so and now he's uh, part of the simple patrol load okay so as you uh, just to, to resume simple road as the name said, it's very simple, very quick uh, to, uh, to manage, to create. Uh, all you have to do to select your checkpoint and uh, schedule the time uh, to respect for the guard, 13 minutes, 1 hour, 45 minutes, it's up to you, depending on the numbers of checkpoints and the distance. Uh, and the guard is free to choose um, the path he only needs to respect the time and read all the checkpoints. That's all. As simple as that. Uh, now please stay focused because uh, the advanced um, roads are a little bit more uh, complex. So it's absolutely the same beginning, which means that uh, we create a new uh, road and you find uh, that kind of menu. You choose the name of your patrol, you choose type advance, we, we stay with our uh, test companies. Checkpoints. As you can see the difference is here and I will try now to uh, explain what, what is the difference. So, um, in the advanced uh, patrol, the guard has to oblige uh, to respect the time for whole patrol, but also he needs to be present at the given place, at the given checkpoint, at the precise time. I'll try to uh, explain you in a minute on a graph uh, how to understand those numbers. Uh, we'll be back to that menu, just see uh, the schedule. So let's say that our patrol in that company will start at 1 p.m. That's all. Just one patrol per day. Save. Uh, we've got our 10 uh, tags. As you can see, one of them it's not in the it's not respecting the, the order. So what we can do can just change the time here and it's done. Okay, so to explain you that I'll try to use a graph. Uh, maybe it will be uh, easier. I'll try to show it like this. All right, I'll just take a pen. Okay, so imagine that our patrol uh, start at 1 and we have to be, the guard have to be at the main gate, the checkpoint called main gate, maximum 10 minutes after 10, after 1, sorry, after 1 p.m., after the patrol begins. So the patrol begins here and we it's very difficult to, to say to a guard, be at 10 past 1 at a given place. So, we have the possibility to give him some tolerance. We choose our, our tolerance at uh, 10 minutes. So, when the patrol starts at 1, he needs to be at the very first tag within this period of time. Plus minus 10 uh, minutes. So we know that we know that, that he cannot start before 1. So uh, the first one is from now. 
from 1 to 10. But the second one, the second one, he needs to be at the front entrance between uh, at uh, 20 past 1. So he should be at the front entrance exactly here. But with the, those 10 minutes, we give him a tolerance plus and minus 10 minutes, which means that he can be from here to here at the front entrance. Whenever he is here, uh, he be front, he checked front entrance, everything is fine. So you can see that in the advanced patrol, uh, not only he needs to respect the total time allowed to doing a given patrol, but also he needs to respect delays between each checkpoint and the order. So he cannot go from the first checkpoint to the other and come back because he will not have time. So you can change uh, you can change everything manually here. For example, you can put only five minutes of tolerance here, seven minutes of tolerance here, but still remember that the, on the first column you've got minutes after patrol starts. So for example in our uh, in our uh, whenever a patrol starts at 1, he should be at the reception tag, one, uh, 40 past 1, plus 10, minus 10 minutes of tolerance. I'll just erase my drawings. All right. A nice, very nice feature about uh, patrols, we can remind the guard to start the patrol. For that, we will use a, a beep, uh, a command tag, which for example can be named like a beep. So let's go to um, uh, management of tags. Create a new tag. The name of the tag will be Start Patrol. The company Mark and Spark, the site office, mode command. And here we need to uh, send command to the device. So we will choose this one. The explanation of the number is just two lines uh, below. So you can see that the first number, 1200, is a frequency. Uh, two, it's the duration. Five, it's number of repetitions. And nine, it's the volume. It's very high volume. It's the maximum volume of active track. So I choose that one. Save. And I come back to my patrol. And now, I will show you how to remind our guard to start the patrol. And you can see that that kind of tag goes automatically in the beginning of the list. I've got it here, start the patrol now, which means that it's not a real tag. It's not a tag attached, uh, the tag is attached nowhere. It's a virtual tag which sends just a command, automatic command to the device uh, and the device will beep um, and give a sound uh, like an alarm clock just to remind the guard uh, to go to the patrol. And here you can see that I gave one minute of tolerance so the beep should start at 1 p.m plus minus one minute. So the, the guard has time to, to prepare and go to the gate, uh, to the main gate. So, save. About active, uh, about 
about advanced uh, patrols, uh, I think it's uh, it's all. So just to remind you. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, if I went too quickly on some uh, options, just write down a question to, to Arthur. I promised you uh, a short uh, competition. Uh, so um, we prepared two very simple questions uh, to you. And the first person who, keep our, uh, who will write uh, a correct answer uh, on on the chat, uh, so please write your answers here. You see the you see the chat. Uh, so I will right now tell two questions. Very simple one. One is uh, regarding EBS company. One is regarding one of our devices. And the first question is giving uh, the. First person giving two positive, two good correct answers will get a, a nice prize sent directly to to his office. So the first question is: Please give the year of uh, uh, creation of EBS. So at what time EBS started operation doing business? And the second question is: How many buttons are on the Active Guard device? We are waiting for your answers. And we've got already, uh, already a very quick uh, uh, player, which is uh, Nathaniel Conlon. Uh, so the correct answers are 9089 and three three buttons on um, on Active Guard device. It was uh, a little uh, tricky because I'm I believe that you are more used to Active Track devices but uh, the question was on active guards. So uh, we've got a winner. We will send uh, a prize uh, to Nathaniel. Congratulations. And now let's get back to the to, to second part of our um, uh, webinar. Now we would like to tell you more in details about uh, geo, uh, geo tagging. So uh, geo tag it's uh, it's also a virtual tag. Uh, it's a special tag who, you, when you you can create. We'll try to to create it uh, with you. So uh, I go to to create new tag. Uh, I will uh, create a tag name, for example, area or office area. Choose the company. site and the most important things mode it's not a command but in this case it's a area and now I click on the show on map I need to choose select site location on map on we can create whenever we want but we'll go to to EBS for those who don't know where where we are we'll show you that we are just uh, just 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 here that's it so when I put the point on a given place on a map, automatically I got the position, GPS position here. And what I need to do is to create a reduce area, uh, which will be a perimeter around that point. And I can choose, for example, uh, 100 or 200 meters. So let's go for 150 meters. So the numbers here are in meters. And uh, what I need to select, it's here. Uh, I, would, I will select all the uh, events, uh, which will be, let's say, confirmation that the device is inside of the given area. 
So the best way is to choose all of them just by clicking Control A and select, select or select all and save. Now we can add that tag, a virtual, we just created a virtual tag, we come back to our uh, patrols, sorry, roads, and we can add that tag uh, on the existing uh, roads or on a new one. So we can create a new one. New patrol, make it simple, company Mark and Spark, site offices, checkpoints, I can create 30 minutes and add checkpoint. And for the first I choose office area, select and just like that we have create a checkpoint, uh, we just create uh, before a checkpoint uh, office area which means that uh, in a given time, I'll just save it, schedule time 1, 2, every 60 minutes. So every day at 1 and every 60 minutes the device must be in a given location. You can leave it just like that, it can be just a confirmation for you that at 1 and within 30 minutes because we choose uh, here 30 minutes you need to be or your, patro your guard needs to be with the device in that area. If not, if he is not there, there will be immediately patrol, uh, patrol failed and alarm uh, will be sent to active, active view. So with that you can imagine a situation to, to create um, a patrol of given, of, of some uh, ge uh, geotagging for example, three or four of them to create a zone whenever, uh, wherever the guard has to be at the given time, with no uh, real checkpoints installed on site. The guard just must be in the area near the uh, a building or in the field, in the park, wherever. So it's uh, also uh, a nice idea to. Uh, to put a geotag at the beginning of advanced road uh, because you can imagine a situation that you will have uh, a direct alarm if he is not in a given time at the beginning of his patrol. So you can react quite, quite quickly um, and you receive the confirmation if he is not uh, in the given area. For other usage, you can imagine a situation, for example, transport to go from city A to city B, uh, let's say from, uh, from Paris to Strasbourg, for example, uh, you can create some virtual uh, geotag on the road uh, and to give your driver the active track and to follow him that he must be uh, in a given zone, in a given time. So he needs to respect the speed, uh, time, etc. and just pass with active track uh, during, uh, through, through that zone. So, um, so it's uh, an idea to, to create uh, and to use geo, geotagging. Um, another uh, important uh, so um, function of uh, virtual uh, tags or command tags 
um, are tax um, no. you can use tax uh, to to send a command to the device for example uh, to switch on or to switch off a given function of uh, active track. Imagine the situation that uh, your guard after the patrol is coming back to the office and put the active track on a desk and if active track is configured on a way to signal man down detection uh, he will trigger the alarm and you will receive the alarms. We can uh, automatically send some commands to active track devices to switch on man down function for example at the beginning of uh, uh, a road uh, a patrol and switch off uh, man down function at the end of the patrol it's very easy so we create a new tag name man down on we choose the company choose side we stay with command the device which executes the path, and here we choose the command man down. I just want to show you. You see, you've got all the list of commands here, also in the manual. But when you start to write, you've got uh, uh, the command man down equals and the status. Zero is off, and one is on. So now I create uh, man down on. So I choose man down one save and immediately I can create man down off the same way man down off the same company same site man down zero apply and now when we come back to uh, to our roads, we can choose uh, one of already created, and uh, we can add checkpoints. Man down on at the very beginning of the patrol, and man down off. If you want to get it at the end, so we just do it like this. But because we start at one, we gave uh, 60 minutes to to realize all the patrol, and we've got already man down. Oh, sorry, I, I put it the other way. Zero here and 60 here. Sorry for that. Now it's okay. So as you can see automatically the device will receive a command uh, from the server man down on so we will switch on uh, the man down function on your active track device at the beginning of the patrol so your guard is protected during patrol and whenever he finished the patrol uh, the man down will be automatically switched off So, um, I see that you have still many questions. Arthur are uh, reply, doing, doing his best to reply all of them. Um, okay. At the end of um, our uh, virtual meeting, the, the webinar, you will receive a very, very short um, three or four questions uh, regarding that webinar. Um, please understand it was also a, a lesson for us. It was the very first webinar um, from us, so we are not uh, an experienced players on the webinars, but we are trying to improve and we hope 
that every next webinar will be better and better and even more interesting. I know already and I can tell you that the next webinar will hold, will um, take on uh, the 15, around 15 of January, we'll send you the exact dates and invitations and the subject of the next webinar will be um, the Callisto Alarm Kit. So, uh, I know it's a completely different uh, story than Active Track, but um, it's also very interesting, very nice product and very competitive, uh, might be very competitive product on your markets. So, I already, on behalf of my colleague uh, Marian Cabrera from Philippines, she will be responsible for um, conduct that uh, webinar. Uh, I really hope to um, reconnect with you on the next webinar also on ActiveView but other functions or how to um, install, how to configure our devices. But that's why I'm talking about, new, uh, about those questions at the end of the webinar because you are invited to share with us what are your needs, what do you want to hear from us uh, uh, for next webinars uh, subject we are uh, we are hoping to do one webinar per, per month so uh, whenever one whenever the webinar on, on January would took place will you will be informed already on the of the date of the next webinar in February at etc etc. So, I hope that uh, you had a nice uh, uh, time that uh, we spent together almost one hour. Um, we will still stay online for about 15 minutes. If you have other questions to ask, we are here. We'll uh, continue to answer them uh, till uh, 12. And uh, thank you very much for, for your participation. Uh, I see that there are many, many questions. And uh, please remember that we are all um, at your disposal. You can still contact us at support at ebs.pl for technical support. And you can contact directly your uh, respective sales manager or our general sales man, uh, sales email it's sales at ebs.pl. Uh, you can also uh, be in touch with our customer department for, for your inquiries. Uh, last but not least, uh, as we are approaching uh, end of the year and Christmas time period, uh, I would like uh, on my behalf and behalf of all EBS team wish you a very, very nice Christmas um, please enjoy uh, that time with your families and I really hope uh, for you and for us that the next year will be very successful in our common cooperation. Uh, that's why I know that all my colleagues, uh, sales managers, prepared some special promotions for you for Christmas, so please do not hesitate to um, to contact us for for an order of active track or active guard devices or others uh, I'm sure that they will be happy to uh, to give you some end of the year discounts or special promotions just contact them uh, I can confirm from my customers from North Africa and Western Europe I got great great uh, active truck deals waiting for you so just please give me a call I'm waiting for you um, I just got the information uh, from Arthur that one of you asked about other comments as you can see um, many comments are uh, available in the um, command tag sent to active track um, so you can also change the number emergency number uh, re remotely so you can just put the number uh, here we change the number of uh, um, uh, to, of the call me button on active track devices okay guys thank you very much once again have a very nice happy uh, Christmas time and happy new year 
I hope to see you soon and hear you soon uh, uh, on, on phone and see you uh, soon. Thank you very much for your participation. Bye-bye.